feel like going out today. I thought you might be better by today. Do I think I look better? Look, come on, I've brought you a drink of water. No, I don't need it. Ready? After three. One, two, Tim. Tim. <laughs> It's estimated that 20 people in every thousand will have a degree of learning disability. However, only five of these are known to health and social care services. People with learning disabilities will also have more health needs and health inequalities when compared with the general population. People with learning disabilities are often cared for by multiple agencies, which can be challenging. This often results in poor patient experience, distress and late diagnosis. The commonest recorded causes of death in people with learning disabilities are respiratory infections and sepsis. Sepsis is a condition where the body's response to an infection causes damage to its tissues and organs. It is important to remember that sepsis can only occur when a person has an infection such as a urine infection, a chest infection or maybe an infected cut. Knowing the softer signs of deterioration such as a change in behaviour, a change in temperature, in breathing, in sleep pattern, in mobility and a reduced appetite with differing toileting habits are essential for picking up on the signs of illness early. Hi Tim, it's me. I don't feel like going out today. Do you think we might need to get the doctor? It's, you, it's not normal for you to be like this. I think I'm a little bit concerned about you. I think the best thing that we could do is to let you go into hospital and have a proper examination because I think you might need some treatment. Okay. Hi Tim. Hello Hi. there. How are we doing? You can talk to him, it's okay. It's... No, okay. It's alright if I talk to Ruth? Yeah. yeah. Hi Ruth, I'm Adam. Hi. How's he getting on? What's going on? Well, I don't, I don't really know if I'm honest. We went out yesterday, everything was fine. We had a laugh and then turned up this morning like I usually do, just to make sure that he's um, up and out of bed, because otherwise you'd stay in, wouldn't you, sometimes? Um, and he'd not eaten any of his breakfast and... <laughs> His, his hands are cold, so we called for the doctor, and the next minute we're, we're here. Mm. Um, I, I do have his traffic light assessment, though, oh, so um, it will tell you about his medication and things. That would be brilliant. Thank you. His respiratory rate's 24. He's breathing a bit fast for my liking, really. He's needing that extra oxygen as well. It's funny, because he, he, he wouldn't usually have anything on his face. He can't even wear scarves or hats. When did he last have a wee? I know he went yesterday when we was out, but and I'm not I'm not with him overnight. But without sounding horrible, he doesn't really flush the toilet, and there was it was clean this morning, so I'm probably yesterday. Yeah, he does look very dry. Skin's very turgid. I m mentioned is he doesn't look right to me, and his hands are, his hands are freezing. Does he take any medicines normally? Only laxatives. He, he does struggle with constipation, so um, yeah, just just then. Do you take any med medicines, tablets for his heart? No, nothing. nothing. No cardiac meds. No, okay. No. And how have his bowel habits been? Well, he is, he's usually constipated. That's why he's on the laxatives. But he has had what looked like a bit of diarrhoea when I helped to get him changed. Tim, where's your pain? <coughs> All over. Okay. <coughs> Many survivors of sepsis suffer a significant deterioration in their physical or cognitive health, which for many will be permanent. For people with learning disabilities, this may have an additional impact on already complex healthcare needs. Many people with learning disabilities will show signs and symptoms that can be quite subtle in presentation. It is important to understand an individual's baseline so as not to misinterpret their deterioration. I just want to go home right now. Come on then, let's go, let's grab your stuff. Okay. Hey.